Oh, good morning, everyone. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to this moment of truth. My name is Brother Hosanna David, and I have a word from the Lord I want to share with us this morning. On the 18th of this month, I was in a church service, and then the Lord spoke to me. I had a vision in the church. I feel sleepy and the, this vision came from the Lord. I saw someone, the person, I can't actually tell whether the person was a man or a woman. Um, what I saw was that this person was sitting along the roadside and people were passing by but the person was attracting their attention. So, um, why the person was attracting attention was because the person had some kind of body modification. Immediately, I heard the Spirit of the Lord speaking to me clearly. And the Lord told me that you see how this person carried out body modification if any human being does not look like me, if any human being utters the image, my image, and my likeness in which they are made, they lose their authority as people I have given dominion to rule and take over the affairs, control the affairs of this world. When I got this message, the Lord also added that, okay, the Lord also added that any human being that does not carry the real image of God loses authority. That the devil uh, fights against people who carry out body modification, including people who do some kind of makeup that change their likeness to the likeness of animals and some terrestrial beings. If anybody makes any kind of alteration on the real image of God that they carry, the Lord told me that Satan does not fear them. That one of the things that Satan actually respects in in humanity is the image and the likeness of God that man carries. But if it is altered, it's like the wall, uh, the stamp, the seal of authority had been taken away and demons could have easy access to that person and afflict the person. I can also remember a dream that my mom shared with me some months ago uh, in fact we are discussing things like this she was talking about the level of worldliness in today's church my mom is seven about 70 something years old she's 70 plus close to 75 if not 74 and she said she had a dream and they were having a kind of interdenominational program this was many years ago. I believe it should be over 10 years that she had a dream. And that uh, angels now came from heaven. Angels came from heaven. And they were in the midst of the people. They were moving around with some kind of uh, answers from God. They had some documents in their hands. And photographs of people. And what my mom said was that, they were moving in the midst of the people and looking at the faces of the people. And when they look at some persons, they will say, no, they look at the photograph and they say, no, this is not the person we were sent to me. And my mom said, the whole people there, both men and women, there were so many from different denominations. And uh, some faces were like greenish in color, some dark, some white, some yellow. People had some uh, different kind of makeup and their faces were totally different from the way they usually look in life. 
I mean, the normal look in life. And my mom said, hardly the angel that came around found people that uh, they brought answers to their prayers and attended to them. That majority of the people, they came with photographs and they look at your faces and they will say, no, this is not the person. The person, uh, I have the photograph from heaven does not look like this. No, 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 this is not the brother I, I was sent to. No, 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 this is not the person I was sent to. And there was confusion. I know a lot of people don't like my messages, but I am not speaking for humans. I, I'm not looking for fans. I want to raise disciples for Christ. Jesus said, go ye into the world and make disciples of all nations. He did not say we should go and make fans. He did not say we should go and increase the number of the uh, church attendance. Jesus is not interested in all that. He is interested in discipleship. So uh, uh, disciples could be just even one. If, but the Bible says there is joy in heaven over a single soul that repents. I am not here to please anybody. So you can say whatever thing you want to say, but I know that the spirit of delusion is already working in the world and men have itching ears. They don't want to hear the truth. The truth is bitter. In fact, if there is anything that irritates modern men today is the truth. Men is not so disturbed when they hear about the war, when the famine, the 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 epidemic in the world, they are not so disturbed by them. But when they hear the truth, they are so disturbed and they want to kill. They want to defend themselves because they are never comfortable with the truth. So if you don't like this message, it's none of my business. There are people, the few, the chosen ones in the world, and this message is for them. Please stop making up yourself to look like demons and to look like animals, to look like other created beings. Humans are losing their authority in Christ. People are losing their authority in Christ. I remember a lady, they have been denying visa for a long time. And the mom contacted me online. And um, as I was praying with the mom, the Lord told me, tell your daughter to stop using makeup. Tell your daughter to stop dressing in a worldly way. That, but if I, I never knew this thing that it had so much impact, uh, 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 impact in the spiritual realm. I never knew its significance. But that revelation, in fact, after I spoke with the with the mom, the Lord, I I, I had to act, I had to ask the Lord, and the Lord revealed more to me. Uh, the Lord told me there are things that, worldly things that his children use in this world. That immediately there are some levels of things you use in this world. And immediately you use them, the devil places you on a spiritual scale. You, I, immediately you will be classed. You will be put in a class. A class of worldliness. And that class is a class that those who are spiritual are not admitted into. So if you put yourself in that class, Satan will definitely have access to you to some level of degree. So please, if you are a child of God and you know that you want to make heaven, do not dress anyhow. Do not carry more worldly makeup. Some of the things you do originated from the marine kingdom. I have taken time, I have been a deliverance ministry. In fact, I started my ministry with evangelical and deliverance ministry. So I've been exposed to many of those things. I don't think, let me tell you, those who repent from the marine kingdom, they don't argue whether these things have spiritual impacts. They don't argue about their, the spiritual uh, uh, disadvantages because they know that they are the things that they used to use in the kingdom of darkness. But pastors, majority of pastors, majority of people today, they don't care about how you look. You can alter to them. You can alter the image of God. You can alter your look. You can alter, uh, carry out body modification. It's none of your business because they are interested in your money. They are not interested in your salvation. In fact, 
they want you to have problems so that you can patronize them so that they can use their demonic powers to attend to you and milk you and so that you bring money and continue to enrich them but i tell you just living well living well and retaining your authority in christ and staying away from sin will solve majority of your problems that you face today i'm not saying that if you are a christian you're not going to have challenges definitely you will have challenges jesus did not deny that he said in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good share i've overcome the world it means that no matter how much the challenges come you will always overcome the dream that my mother had which she told me the uh, the holy spirit made me to understand which my mom also told me and also confirmed that every human being has a look a distinct look that is why you don't see two human beings that are just exactly the same even twins they have some differences human beings are created in the image of god and they have their own different look there, there are no two human beings, even twins. They don't have the same fingerprint. They are different. There is no single human being that has the same, uh, two human beings that have the same uh, exact fingerprint. We are created differently. And in the image of God, our photographs are in heaven. And when God sends his angels to come to come with answers to our prayers the way an angel of the Lord was sent to Daniel. They look at our faces. Description, credentials of our beings, of who we are, are given to them. But if we do not retain our natural look, but decide to alter them, we give room for uh, our prayers not being answered. Because the, the, Bible, the Bible says that I know your needs before you ask. And that whatsoever thing you ask in the name of Christ, in my name, I will do it for you. That this is the confidence that we have in him. This thing has shut heaven against a lot of people. If you are a child of God, respect the image that the Lord has given to you. You can subscribe to my YouTube channels, Hosanna David, BS Purity TV, and also Ego Eye Opener. Uh, I have many YouTube channels depending on uh, the topic and what I am actually treating uh, because I just want the different uh, 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 topics to, I want every YouTube channel to be specific. I may not be able to update them as, uh, as uh, with uh, every time, but I know the Lord is helping me and uh, especially Igu Ayopuna and Ozana E.E. David. I'm able to update it as much as the Lord gives me the strength. Please make sure you subscribe. And also visit my website, egoayopna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. Uh, if you have any uh, struggling with sexual challenges, you can reach me on this email, biblicalsexualpurity at gmail.com or info at biblicalsexualpurity.com. Uh, you can also reach me in my personal email, david at ymail.com. Please stay away from sin. Uh, do not do the things that will offend the Lord. The Lord is coming very soon. Stay updated uh, in the word of God. Study the word of God and know that we are living in the very end of time. The Lord is coming soon, so please do not give up. Thank you and God bless you. Once again, I am your brother, Hosanna David. Stay rapturable. Bye-bye.